So then for gas now, we'll, we'll have to account for the dissolved gas in the oleic phase. So writing our mass balance here, we have an n dot g, that's the mass of gas in the gas phase, uh, plus n dot dg, so this is the mass of dissolved gas in the oil phase, right? And then plus any mass injected or produced of gas plus any mass injected or produced of dissolved gas. So then just writing the mass balance, canceling terms, We have that equation. The formation volume factor for gas is going to be the reservoir volume of gaseous phase. Which includes gas plus volatile oil. We'll write it here, we'll cancel it later. We assume it's negligible. Uh, divided by stock tank volume of gas. Well, if you want to say gas is phase, but that's gas only at, at the surface. So just doing what we did before and looking at the mass of the gaseous phase at the reservoir conditions is the density of gas times the volume of gas under reservoir conditions, which is equal to density of gas under standard conditions times the volume of gas under standard conditions plus the density of oil under standard conditions times the volume of volatilized oil under standard conditions. And then we're going to divide through by the volume of gas in the reservoir conditions. And again, multiply by one. This time our one will be the volume of gas in the standard conditions over the volume of gas in the standard conditions. And then recognizing this to be equal to 1 over dg, and this to be rv, then we can write this as av under standard conditions over dg plus rv rho c dg. Now we'll make the assumption that there is no volatilized gas, so RV is equal to zero. There is no volatilized oil in the gas phase. So with that, then this just becomes the density of gas in the reservoir conditions. 
And so we plug that back into our mass balance equation. Along with, from the previous slide, don't forget we had just two back. We had this relationship that we didn't really use. The density of dissolved gas under reservoir conditions. So we're going to use the, the, both of <coughs> that along with this, plug them back into the mass balance equation for gas. So this is our third equation. So those are the mass balance equations for oil, gas, and water. And those manipulations you know, on the oil and gas equations are to get rid of the terms involving the dissolved gas and the volatilized oil so that we have everything in terms of the unknowns are in, in terms of gas, oil, and water. Okay? Now there's still too many unknowns to solve. At this point, we have to next introduce constitutive equations, namely Darcy's law for multiphase, right? in terms of the velocities, relating the velocities to pressures, and some other manipulations. Okay, and so we'll do that next time. <laughs>